Today's video is all about menopause acne and what you can do to clear your menopause acne through simple diet and lifestyle changes. There's lots of reasons why your menopause acne may have developed and there is no one conclusive reason as to why you may have developed acne at menopause. And hormonal acne at menopause is different to what you may have experienced in the teenagers in that it happens around the jawline, on the chin, around the mouth and for some women it may happen on your chest or in your back. The biggest trigger for menopause acne are these hormonal fluctuations. But there may also be other reasons why you've developed acne at menopause. So what changes can you make in your menopause diet to start taking control? The first foods to add in your menopause diet that may help start reducing your menopause acne are phytoestrogen rich foods. As we progress from perimenopause into menopause, our estrogen levels take a sharp drop. However, from my research, our ovaries actually continue to produce testosterone. And because of the imbalance of estrogen in relation to testosterone, it's thought that this is one of the biggest reasons that women develop acne in menopause. Because of all the changes that's going on in your body during menopause, base hormones may also be converting into testosterone easier than estrogen. So it's thought that this rise in testosterone levels may be responsible for your body creating more sebum or the natural oils on your skin which is helping to block your pores and may be what's causing your menopause acne. So by adding more phytoestrogen rich foods in your diet you're supporting the effects of lower oestrogen in relation to testosterone on your body. Phytoestrogen rich foods provide an oestrogen like reaction in your body by binding with your oestrogen receptors. And this may be enough to balance the effects of lower oestrogen in relation to testosterone. Phytoestrogens might also provide additional support for your skin. As the natural protection that oestrogen provides is lost as oestrogen levels drop during menopause. Ways to add more phytoestrogen rich foods in your diet includes adding flax seeds in your breakfast smoothies or your yogurt or you can add this blend of sprouted flax seeds and chia seeds into your yogurt and smoothie instead. Other ways of adding more phytoestrogen rich foods in your diet includes using cruciferous vegetables such as cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage or pak choy into your main meals. You can also snack on dried fruits such as apricots, dates or prunes instead of a bar of chocolate or a biscuit for example. But because of the sugar content of these dried fruits you still need to snack on them in moderation. You can also snack on berries which has less sugar than a lot of other fruits but it may be enough to satisfy your need for something sweet. Which brings me nicely to what foods to avoid when you're trying to clear your menopause acne. We have trillions of microorganisms in our gut as well as on our skin. Our skin is the largest organ in our body which means it's a large area for potential microorganisms or bacteria that may be causing your menopause acne to develop. We also have something called the gut skin axis which means that what's happening in our gut may be reflected in our skin. When you eat lots of sugary foods, processed foods, simple carbohydrates, maybe drinking alcohol on a regular basis, a state of something called dysbiosis may be happening in your gut. What this basically means is that non-beneficial bacteria or the bad bacteria are feeding on the foods you're eating allowing them to outgrow the beneficial or good bacteria. So if you find that you're getting bloating, feeling uncomfortable after eating, maybe you're going through a cycle of constipation and then diarrhea, that your skin conditions or your menopause acne is getting worse, 
that the imbalance of your gut bacteria is being reflected onto your skin. By reducing these types of foods, what you're doing is starving the bad bacteria and reducing their growth. This will allow your gut bacteria to regain some balance, allowing your skin to recover and may be enough to help calm your menopause acne. Another reason that acne and sugar as well as simple carbohydrates don't go together is that sugar stimulates the production of enzymes that may convert testosterone into the more potent form of testosterone. Other signs that this may be happening include losing hair on your head but growing hair on your chin or you may be finding that you get irritable and angry a lot easier. If you're getting value from the information I've shared so far I'd love it if you hit the like button so YouTube knows to share this video with other women who may benefit from the information I share here and it also helps the channel grow. And if these are the sort of videos that you're looking for to help you through your menopause journey, consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you'll get notified when I've posted another video. The next thing to consider when it comes to reducing your menopause acne is how much stress you're going through. Unfortunately, the constant release of stress hormones also stimulates the release of those enzymes that make it easier to convert testosterone into the more potent form of testosterone known as dehydrotestosterone. Ways of reducing stress in your life could be adding more magnesium rich foods in your diet, reducing caffeine such as coffee or tea, taking deep breaths, meditation, yoga, going for a walk or exercising. However, it's also important not to overexercise. Taking up a hobby you enjoy, talking with a friend or someone you love, or even seeing a professional if you feel that you need more help in coping with the stressful situations in your life. Which brings me on nicely to say that if you are worried about any of your symptoms, to go and see your doctor so he or she can assess if your symptoms need further investigations. And also, if your menopause acne is becoming uncontrollable, there may be situations where you need medications. So it's worth seeing your doctor to make sure you are getting the help that you need. How can we swing the balance back into supporting our good bacteria or our beneficial bacteria? This is where adding probiotic foods such as sauerkraut, kefir yogurt, miso, kombucha, apple cider vinegar and other probiotic foods come in. Because of the fermentation process that these foods go through, they develop bacteria that may be beneficial for our health. So by adding these types of foods in your menopause diet, you're supporting the beneficial bacteria in your gut. And you can support the beneficial bacteria in your gut further by adding lots of fiber-rich foods such as cruciferous vegetables or vegetables in general, including nuts and seeds, legumes and other fiber-rich foods in your diet. Because the beneficial bacteria that you'll be getting from the probiotic foods needs to feed on the fiber to grow. When it comes to keeping your skin in good condition and hydrating your skin, there is no way that I can do this video without mentioning your water intake. I also drink about five to six pints of water per day and even more so now that the weather is a lot hotter. This is one of the best things that I do to help keep my skin clear and hydrated from the inside out. Drinking lots of water might also support your liver to flush out toxins that may be causing your menopause acne. How about skincare for menopause acne? Personally, I think one of the worst things that you can do when you develop menopause acne is to start using lots of different products just to try and get rid of it. When it comes to keeping your skin moisturized and nourished, simplicity is best and this starts with food. It's also important to add lots of healthy fats in your diet. So these could be 
oily fish, avocados, olive oil, coconut oil, olives. These fats support the production of ceramides that keeps your skin moisturized and support your skin's barrier, helping to prevent potential harmful microorganisms from entering your skin and causing more skin issues as well as your menopause acne. This may be a good opportunity to start looking through your makeup bag and throwing out any makeup that may have gone past their sell-by date. Also, this is an opportunity to give your makeup brushes or your applicators a good wash. They may be harboring microorganisms or bacteria that are being transferred from your applicators or your makeup onto your skin. By updating your makeup and cleaning your brushes and applicators, you're reducing the amount of bacteria that's being transferred from those items onto your skin and causing your acne. Now, if you'd like to know how adding more probiotic foods in your menopause diet may help to balance your gut bacteria and reduce your menopause acne, check out this video.